good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, we hope you will return tomorrow. I am about to go in to my 28 week checkup at my baby doctor. We are officially in the third trimester. Can you believe it? Measuring perfectly twenty nine centimeters. One hundred and thirty five feet a minute. It's good. So I just finished my meditation. I try to meditate while the vlog exports because I can't do anything else on the computer. So I hadn't been prioritizing it, but this is kind of forcing me to. Um, and today was the perfect day because listen to that storm. I'll go out and show you, but also this is how dark our room is. Like literally pitch black. Is pouring it's supposed to until like seven or eight tonight actually our apartment is so dark and cozy um, hopefully Peter will be able to come out here soon he's got a lot of meetings today um, but our appointment went really really well um, basically just textbook heartbeat was good they they measured my stomach for the first time um, which was spot on. I did get a Rogam shot today, which has to do with my blood type and Peter's blood type. Um, and so that wasn't too bad. You guys know I'm used to shots. And I scheduled our ultrasound. Um, our next appointment is going to be after we get back from our shower and I'll be like right between, like right around 31 weeks. Um, no. Yeah, right around 31 weeks. And so that's super exciting because we haven't seen James since my 20 week anatomy scan. So it was a good visit. I did not see my normal doctor, but the doctor I saw was great. They talked a whole lot less, so it was a really quick appointment, um, but just really good. And I accidentally forgot the camera out in the car and I'm not gonna go get it now. So sorry, this is on my cell phone. Hey, how's it going in here? Good, I'm just about wrapping it up. Woohoo! I've been here pretty much all day, haven't I? Yeah. So I've been, I you never another, came out. I had another day full of meetings. You never came out. I had meetings all times. I know. We're going to hang that, right? Yeah. I'm going to show you the quick tomato sauce that I'm going to make for dinner. We're going to have some pasta, maybe some baked zucchini. I think that's the plan. Maybe a salad. Um, it's already almost five, so a little behind, but again, with us being just staying home um i don't have as much of like a deadline to make sure that we have to get out the door so that's nice for me because i don't have to rush i got my sous chef i got a full onion going with probably three cloves of garlic salt and pepper just until the the onions are translucent you know the deal today i'm gonna cook with mushrooms i did like half a container so i think that's like four ounces chopped it all up so that's kind of like the meat want to use meat or meat alternative this is where you'll add it get it nice and browned up i'm probably going to add a little bit more pepper because i i like my mushrooms peppery so that's cooked a while i honestly thought i've had more <laughs> tomatoes than this um but it's just a big 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes that i'm going to add i i really didn't want a ton of this sauce we don't have a ton of pasta um i could use it over other things but this is just going to be a smaller batch of sauce so you might want to increase the ingredients if you want to make more so that is in i filled this up like a third of the way with water so i'm going to add that as well and then my spices i realize i don't have basil but i do have the um this which is like a stir in paste so i'm going to use a little bit of this some shaky garlic and some red crushed red pepper so then once it starts to bubble i'll taste it again and figure out what else i want to add excuse Evie eating her treat um, while that is cooking my water is a boiling for my pasta and I'm going to prepare my zucchini I'm gonna bake this is just one zucchini 
that I chopped in half and then in half again and half again. Okay, so these are gonna go in the oven at 450 degrees, probably like 20, 30 minutes-ish. Um, they have balsamic vinegar on them. First, I coated them in olive oil, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper, garlic, parsley, some breadcrumbs, and then that cashew parm um, that I made. I know they'd be really good, covered in cheese. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna let these bake and this will be a little side dish. We can also dunk them in the sauce. So for the sauce, I did add parsley. I forgot to add parsley before. And then I added just a little bit more garlic, a little bit more red pepper, and a little bit more of the basil spread. Um, I always like to put salt and pepper like right on top of my pasta. And so I didn't want to add too much to it because you can always add, you cannot take it away. Um, so yeah, just gonna let that cook a little longer, let the zucchini cook, and then it'll be time for dinner. It's dinner time. <laughs> It looks really good, and it smells really good. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh, Evers. She almost got the dipperoo. What's the dipperoo made of? Did you already show it? Um, I didn't, actually. Olive oil, the pesto spread, a little bit of the cashew parm, salt, Ooh. pepper, just for Dunkin's. And it's not kid-friendly, but I saw on HBO Max that they have Tenacious D, the pick of Destiny, and I haven't seen it in, like, 10 years, so we're going to have that on in the back of my meat. I'm taking Sarah's latest bump photo and people have been asking for a bump thing. we'll put one in now and put a comment down below if you agree if you're team peter or team sarah that eve should have been in the crib during the photo because that would be pretty cute wait we'll try one more thing. Evie's. It worked. <laughs> Look at my hair. Why didn't you tell me this is crazy today? Because I'm wearing a hat all day. Oh, okay, I gotta go run, um, pick up a few things from the grocery store, go by myself. Quarantine <laughs> failure. <laughs> no. I forgot to mention if you were following the sauce recipe that it wasn't as thick as I wanted it to be. And that's definitely because it only cooked probably like a half hour, whereas typically sauce needs to cook like three hours or basically as long as you will let it. And so since we've been done eating, I've just let the sauce cook longer on the stovetop and then we'll have it for leftovers. Um, but that's always key with red sauces. Cook it for a long time, not just for thickness, but just for overall flavor. It's not like a fun thing, but one of our smoke detectors, the backup battery has been kaput for days and days and days. So, to reward myself for changing this battery, because it was so difficult, I got myself a Red Bull. Side note, we've put Eve in almost everything of James's that we have received. And it's taking every bit of energy for me not to put her in this... Too dangerous. This attached table seat. Day two of being mm -hmm. consistent. Yes. David Goggins. According to Walter, my favorite ultra runner just started today a 500 mile, I think it's 490 mile trail that she's trying to break the fastest known time on it, which is like eight and a half days or something. Wow. She is everything and more when it comes to running. Yeah, I'll put her Instagram tag here if you want, you're interested. How many miles are you going to do tonight? Four. Kind of, oh actually, I'm supposed to run more on Saturday, but like four is every day for the next like. 10 or 11 days. Then well, we never put six. up that vlog that had your regiment. Oh, well, I'll talk about it when I get back. Yeah. Alrighty. Enjoy. <laughs> Do you know what that's from? That's Be nice it. to people in our bar. <laughs> I'm back. Got my four miles done. Um, it rained like trench downpour all day, so it was like a two degrees hotter than yesterday, but with the mugginess, it was brutal, but it it did feel good, so I got sweat in my eyes because I took off my sweatband. Um, it feels good to be back out there. Like, I feel my legs are feeling like it's getting back into it, even though it's just the second day, but I like to think I have a good base after these two years. But still have a lot to, more to do to get back to where I was like 
three, really four months ago, five months ago. Um, but I feel good. Now, I have to take care of with all this sweat. Well, this is kind of what I suspected would happen. There are always two peas in a pod, whatever one's doing, the other's doing. But I've made it a new habit to drink one big old glass of water, like my two cupper, my big Mickey plastic cup, so I'm gonna get that going. And looks like Sarah was watching Lady Bird, but um, I'll get a big, big cup of water and just relax. Ooh, later than I expected. I got hung up watching this documentary called Food on the Go about the about Italian food, it's really good. What is the date? Boom, boom, not here. We are here, August 5th. August 5th quote is by Anonymous. Pen your blessings with thankfulness so they don't unravel. I dig it. So the girls are still asleep. They've been asleep, which is good. They need to sleep. I need to sleep. But you guys know how that goes. Um, I'm gonna get ready for bed and grab those two girls and call it a day. So thank you so much for enjoying and following along with today's video. It was exciting to hear the heartbeat, James's heartbeat earlier today. I wish I could have been there, but um, hopefully I'll get to start going soon, but who knows. I'm just happy he's a happy, healthy baby boy cooking away in Sarah's belly. And his room is really coming along, so. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.